If you roll a six-sided die twice, what is the probability of rolling six on either roll? Well, <clears throat> uh, let's take a gander at it, Cal. A six-sided die twice. So we got a probability of six, and then we got a, and a probability of six, right? Yeah, on either roll, right? So, does that mean that you could uh, get a six on both rolls? No. Nah. Nah. Does it mean you could get one six on the first roll and then not a six on the second roll? Yes. yes. What if I got not a six on the first roll and uh, then a six on the second roll? Yes. Yeah, then we're good, right? What if I don't roll a six? Then you're screwed. Then it's no good. It's no good. So... Here's what we can do. I'll do an area model for these. We got roll number one. And then we got roll number two. Then we will make an area model. Uh -oh. right, so there is our start of our area model. Oh, can I, can for I roll number one, you can either roll a one, two, three, four, five, or a six. And same with roll number two. So All right, so I just wanted to label the, the sides there to show the possible outcomes for roll one and then roll two. Now, we're going to draw kind of like we would a table. All right, now we have these. Now let's go in and list in all of the possibilities. So this is kind of how we start these. Right here. Uh, I got the first row done. But we don't need all the rolls because we just want to know where, when we're rolling a, a die, how often we can get a six, right? So we're really just focusing on this, this column right here. Huh? And then the bottom row right here. Huh? All right. So as it turns out, we don't need any of those other rows. So we can just kind of ignore these because none of them have a six like these. Not only this, but uh, if we're looking at a six on either roll, uh, we have to consider if six, rolling a six on both is one of those possibilities. So, uh, you know, it depends on how you think about it, right? All right, so to finish this off, uh, since it says you can roll a six on either roll, we're going to assume that having both sixes there is okay. So we're going to say that uh, this, this spot right account is included. So how many of these spaces are there with a six in them? There's six right account. And uh, so we got these six and then these five right account. That gives us 11 possible outcomes out of the... 6 times 6 would be 36, and that is the fraction, that's as far as we can take that fraction. And not only these, but 11 divided by 36 would give us 0 0.305 repeatant, which would be 30.5% repeat. So the reason I got 11 is because I added these. So I'm just counting the number of boxes that had 6 in it. And I could just count these. There's 11 of these boxes. On the other hand, how many total boxes were there? Well, I got 6 rows of 6. So 6 groups of 6 would give us 6 times 6 which is 36. On the other hand, you could have just counted each and every one of these, and by the time you finished counting, you'd find there was 36. Now, you guys could have made a tree model or a tree diagram if you wanted to as well.